Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. Um, today I'm going to um, continue with trying to review some of the holiday releases. And this time we're gonna do the Natasha Denona holiday exclusive. Uh, this is her mini palette. It's the mini Metropolis. Um, this year she gave us a little brush that came with it. And here's how that's looking. I've seen a few people use this brush that have demoed uh, the palette and um, said it's pretty good. So I'm hoping to give that a try today and um, hope that it works out. Um, this is what the palette is looking like. I have not used it. I got it a few days ago and I've just been waiting until today to be able to um, have the time to do this. And um, here's how the inside of the palette is looking. Um, you know, I really, I think this color story definitely screams holiday. I mean, you've got this beautiful gold shade here. Um, these other shades are pretty, you know, standard, but the gold and this shade right here, this is stunning, this shade. Oh my goodness. As soon as I saw this palette, I have to tell you that that shade is what really got me. Um, Natasha Denona really knows what she's doing there um, with putting, you know, curating these mini palettes. Um, my understanding is this shade, this shade, and this shade are from the larger Metropolis palette, which I don't have. Um, this one is, uh, one of these is new and I'm, I can't recall which one it was. I think it's this one. And I think that one came from the Biba palette. Um, I saw that on, uh, one of her stories. So, um, there's only one new shade in here. So if you have Biba and you have Metropolis, the large ones, then you really don't need this palette. I don't have either one of those palettes, so this was um, a good buy for me. Um, so I'm just gonna do a little um, swatch here. So here's that, that gold shade. Um, boy, is that beautiful. Um, very pretty. So there's the, the first two shades. And then we're gonna swatch that green shade, which is gorgeous. Look at that, the way the light hits that. I mean, tell me that does not make you feel, give you the, the holiday feels. And then here's the last two shades. I'm not surprised that this one here is not really showing up very well, but there's that brown shade right there. So um, so this is looking really nice. Um, I really was tempted to wear this, because um, I don't know about you, but when I get new makeup, I'm, I'm like a kid with a new toy. I wanna try everything right away. Um, but let's go ahead and start off by, I'm gonna use a refer number two. And here's how that's looking. I don't know if you know, but there's definitely some um, refer um, sales going on. Oh wow, this is a little darker than I thought it was gonna be. See that? I thought it was, um, it's a little more tan. Um, let me just grab a Okay, so let me, I mean, it's not really dark, but it's just a little more opaque than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, so I'm just putting that all over my eye and I'm bringing it up to my brow bone. And then I'm gonna reach for the brush that comes with it, even the, the brush like matches that green shade, which is nice. And I am going to tap off the excess. It's a little powdery. And I'm just gonna put that 
yellowish, um, beigey, like deeper shade, that matte shade right on the crease. And I'm going to bring it up a little bit. And then I'm going to go back in with A refer 13 and I'm going to dip into that beautiful green shade and I'm just gonna pack it in the corner here and then bring it in And that's how that's looking so far. You could see how much pigment that has. Wow. This shade is beautiful. Very pretty. And now I'm gonna go back in with this gold shade and I'm just gonna put that on sort of like the inside to the middle of my lid there. Um, with hooded eyes, I have semi-hooded eyes, so um, with that type of eye, you really need to like just put something lighter, at least for my eyes, I need to go just a little bit lighter on my lid. So it kind of like opens it up. Otherwise I could, my lids could almost disappear. That's um, the first look that we're doing here. So I just wanted to use the green I'm just going over it with this other brush that I have. I don't know what brand it is, but I like it. And I like to use it to buff out, to kind of blend. So I wanted to use the teal and the gold. Um, so on the other eye, I'm going to clean off the Natasha brush that came with it. And on the other eye, I'm gonna go in with this brown shade that I haven't used yet. There's a little kick up in the pan, but that doesn't really bother me. Um, I don't know if it bothers you, but I figured I'd bring it up. So I'm basically just putting that brown shade in my crease and then kind of bringing it up a little bit. So that's how that's looking. And then I'm going to just put that green shade all over my lid. And I'm just using my finger to do this. And the reason why I wanted to use like a darker shade like that is because, like I said, I have semi-hooded eyes. And so I wanted to show how it would look on somebody with, you know, semi-hooded smaller eyes like me. Um, I'm going to clean off my refer three. It's this brush right here. And I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna pick up this shade right here. And I'm just gonna go underneath 
Guys, I have no plans here with this. I'm just, uh, you would think I would have thought this out a little bit before I filmed this, but I really, um, really didn't. I'm just uh, winging it. And then I'm gonna go back in with that teal collar and I'm just gonna kind of go a little bit closer to my eye, like a little bit closer to my waterline. And that's how it's looking. Um, so I wanted to do, I wanted to use like both of those more, you know, the gold and the teal on this eye. Um, and then I think what I'll do on this other eye, because I do like to line under my eyes, I'm just going to go in with that darker brown shade and go underneath on this one. And just blending that through. Okay. So I think that's looking good. And hold on. Yeah, I think we're good. I'm just, okay, here it is. I was looking for this Tarte liner. So I got this Tarte liner and I used it in my last video. It's got the uh, liquid on one side and the, like a regular pencil on the other side. So I'm just gonna put some black in my waterline. And I'm trying to do this quickly. And I'm gonna do a little wing on the top. What I like about this Tarte liner, and I know we're not talking about the liner, we're talking about the, um, the little mini palette here, but what, just wanted to let you know that, like I said, with my smaller eyes, it's easy for me to get really close to my waterline or like my lash line with this liquid liner. Um, because oftentimes I'll be doing good and then all of a sudden it'll, it'll get like too thick and then I'm like, okay, this is ruined now because now <laughs> you can't see my eyeshadow. All right, so let's take these off. Here's how we're looking. I was trying to do two different looks here. And then um, for mascara, I'm gonna do the Benefit They're Real. I really like this mascara. I kind of got away from using it for a while because while it really like beefs up my lashes, I find it really hard to get this mascara off. <laughs> so I, I kind of stopped using it for a while because of that. I would wash my face off and take my eye makeup off and then I would still uh, find it challenging to get it off. So I really didn't, I don't think I used this mascara for over a year. And then I think I found it somewhere. I think there was like a like a sale or something. And um, it might have been like either right after the holidays or, you know, as long as you don't open them, they stay pretty good. Um, and I said, I better use this. And I opened it up the other day and I was surprised. Um, it, it's fine, it stayed fine. It's only when you open them within a reasonable amount of time that um, 
you know, they can dry out or they could go bad, but as long as you don't open them, they pretty much stay pretty good, so. So there's the two looks using the new mini palette. This is just a lay person here who's a makeup enthusiast giving it a try. Um, and I also don't, don't want the video to be too long. So I'm trying to, I was trying to do it quickly. So here's one eye and then here's the other one. And then on my lips, because we were creating a holiday look, um, I went in with the, um, Fenty cream. I got it in this, uh, red shade. Hold on a sec. Let me see if I can. Yeah, it's really hard. The lettering is small and black, so it's really hard to see, but it's, there's only like five shades in this. So whatever this, the red shade is, is the one that I used on my lips. Um, and so I'll put the rest of what I have on my face down in the description box. So Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I think this is a really great mini palette. Um, I have a lot of her mini palettes. I, I purchased basically every one she's ever put out there. Um, I think there was only one or two that I skipped. Like, I didn't get the love one because the love one was, um, I get reds can irritate my eyes. If you've watched any of my other videos, you, you, you would already hear me talk about that. Um, and the, the, the love palette had too many, um, purpley and pink tones in it. And I was just a little too nervous that would, that would, I'd have a problem with that. But basically all the other ones I've purchased, I was really excited when I saw this one. I really think this is a beautiful palette. Like I said, if you don't have the large Metropolis one, I think this is a, a really nice um, palette to get. And I like that she also did the box this year with um, the uh, brush. And the brush is actually not bad. So um, it's like a little travel brush. So um, but that's it. That's the end of the video. Um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.